Yes. So first of all, let's start the revision uh, of some grammar topics, starting with the uh, topic reporting speech. So write down the topic. My sister says to me, I'll go to attend offline classes. So change its uh, reporting speech. So the option is, the options I'm giving you is, my sister told me that I will okay I'll be asking any one child to give me the answer and you are not only to say like whether it is wrong or you are to tell number one whether it is right or wrong then you are to give answer like why is it wrong right second option is My sister says to me that she would go to the off offline classes. And third option is my sister tells me that she would go to attend offline classes. And fourth option is my sister tells me that she will go to attend offline classes. So these are the four options. So which one, uh, what is, what's the, what is your opinion about first sentence? It is my sister told me that I'll go to attend offline classes. Is this correct? Yes or no and why? Okay, Kesha will give the answer. Unmute yourself, Kesha. Okay, Keshav has got uh, disconnected, I guess. Imani, unmute yourself. Yes, ma'am. Yes, give the answer. Ma'am, D option. No, tell me what is, uh, what's your opinion about first sentence? Is it right or wrong? Ma'am, wrong. Why? Only tell the mistakes. Only tell me to underline the mistakes. Which mistakes I should underline? Imani, not audible? Yes. Check your mic. What's the can you repeat? What is the mistake in sentence one? My sister told me that I'll go to attend offline classes. Okay, Arshin. Morning, yes, good morning, Peter. Ma'am, uh, ma'am, the first option is uh, not correct as ma'am as the mistakes are told and I that they have not changed. Yes, very good. 
So there are two mistakes in first the sentence. One is it told and the other is I. Very good. Or oh, now, Excuse now, me. yes, beta. Ma'am, I, Mani, ma'am, I have a network problem. That's why I will not reply. Yes, Imani. Now you tell the what's the mistake in second sentence. If your network is okay, then you can say. Otherwise, I can ask some other side. Ma'am, in second sentence, there is wood. Okay. In the second sentence, the only one mistake is there. That is wood. Correct. Yes. Well done. Okay. Now, Aditi, unmute yourself. There is Aditi. Yes, ma'am. What's the mistake in third? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, wood. Okay. Now the mistake is wood. Correct. Now let me ask the other one, Garima. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Garima. What about the fourth sentence? The fourth sentence is correct. Okay. Why is it correct? Why is it correct? Reporting is also. Okay, let me ask somebody. Your network is not very, uh, you know, clear. Yes, Thavnesh, unmute yourself. Yes, ma'am. Explain fourth sentence. Come to tells and uh, uh, the report. So the reporting work will be also in present. Okay. Uh, in this sentence, sir, number one, we had to see like says two. It so shows that the reporting verb is present. Okay. When the reporting verb is present, says two converts into tells. So that is correct. So my sister tells me. Okay, one more mistake could have been there, which is not there otherwise. If there is a two with it tells, will it be correct? If there is a two with it tells, tells to me, will it be correct? Answer is no. Okay, yes. We are to deduct the two. My sister tells me that. So that is to be written because when we remove inverted commas and there is a simple sentence, Okay, we use that here. That is only an assertive sentence that can be a positive sentence or a negative sentence. Okay, but simple sentence, we use that here. So my sister tells me that she, so I is first person pronoun. So first person pronoun in the reporting speech changes according to the subject. So and the subject over here is sister, this is subject. So first person I will change according to my sister, so I will become she. So that she, so because the reporting verb is present, so the tense in reporting verb will not, the reporting speech will not change. So she will, will will remain will. And with will we use first form go, so that will remain as it is. So she, my sister tells me that she will go to attend offline classes. Is that clear? Okay, now write next sentence. My sister said to me, my sister said to me, were you, were you writing, Were you writing your poem yesterday? Question mark. Were you writing your poem yesterday? Okay, the option number one is, now the answer number one is, Let us change the subject also now. Okay, otherwise. Uh, 
So instead of my sister, let it be you. You said to me, were you writing your poem yesterday? Okay. So first option, you told me that were you writing your poem yesterday full stop okay second option you asked me if if had if had i been doing my work yesterday full stop when i don't write the word afterwards it means that the same things would be like there as it is third sentence you asked me if i had been writing my poem the previous day full stop and fourth option is you asked me that i had been writing my poem the previous day so here i am copying the same thing so out of these four which one is uh, correct that we will see later on but you first you'll be telling me what about the first one mistakes in first sentence abhina beta this is the class of 11th standard ax okay so we are talking about uh yes tarundeep give the answer unmute yourself tarundeep raise hand yes unmute yourself tarundeep unmute yourself from your end tarundeep what's the problem okay let us ask somebody else harshdeep bedi roll number 18 harshdeep roll number 18 harshdeep raise hand okay mishti yes ma'am yes beta speak the answer ma'am the first mistake in the first sentence is uh, told Speak louder check your mic then the first mistake in the first sentence is told check your mic please then am i audible not very loud very uh, low volume Ma'am, maybe due to some network issue. Okay, you speak. Give the answer from the first one. Uh, Ma'am, the first mistake is told. Yes. And the second is were you? Hmm. Were you? Okay. That's it. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, Ma'am, that is also a mistake. Yeah, that is also wrong. 
so there are so many mistakes the first sentence is absolutely wrong okay here the mistakes are countless because it is totally wrong okay then second sentence now somebody else okay uh, prabhun unmute yourself yes ma'am yes that's a sign of great children their um, network is always solid usually i think so you asked me if i had been doing so what's the mistake here uh, ma'am had had come first ma'am so we uh, yes so here the order is wrong i should have been here and had should happen so this order is wrong okay what else ma'am and we have changed the sentence that is it was writing and we have written doing yeah that is also right so here doing is also ma'am right. and yesterday has not changed into previous day very good so even in the end yesterday word is also wrong okay yes correct prab good well done okay now next one simarlin kaur unmute yourself and raise hand simarlin kaur simarlin kaur okay uh janvi janvi is not connected properly even prabhnur jangi janvi pushkar aditya okay so arshin yes ma'am well done so third mistake mistake in the third sentence i think i think that the third sentence is all right and there is mistake in the fourth sentence okay third sentence is all correct Okay. Tell yes, ma'am. I think. Tell me what were the what were the points which we had to see. Let's start from beginning. You, ma'am. Oh, uh, ma'am. In the ma'am from the starting the from the starting we have to see that first of all the set to must be uh, changed to ask and that is all right. And ma'am, next uh, as there is a question, so we must see that. if there is yes so we had to see whether because it was a question with a helping verb it was an interrogative sentence with yes no kinds so that kind of question takes the conjunction with if and if is also there and then we had to check the order of the verb and subject that is also correct first the subject is there then verb is there so that is also correct and then we had to see whether this uh pronoun is properly changed so you is second person and second person changes according to object object of the reporting verb and me is the report. so me you have become i okay so she asked me if i had so because it was were writing past continuous changes into past perfect continuous so had been writing my poem the yesterday has changed into the previous day so so many things had to be changed and they all have been done in the third sentence okay so while changing the narration or reporting speech we have to take care of number 1 basically tense number 2 the pronouns and uh, number 3 the order of the verbs right order of verb and subject that's correct well done okay now uh, Yes, now this is Dhavnesh. Fourth sentence. You asked me that I had been. Sorry, writing... I'm not getting it. Hello, Namit. Ma'am, with the uh, ma'am, this is a question, and uh, we have used that. Ah uh, yes. So here the mistake is that correct means this that is wrong, and this mistake you have identified correctly. Very nice. Okay, now write down next sentence, all of you.
okay now it will be fill in the blank with suitable or the correct verb u dash reading this book dash 5 o'clock so the break options are a have been and since was being and from the option is is and uh, from and uh, the option is had been and for so what's the correct answer over here uh, okay let me ask now this uh, yes mishti give the answer ma'am option a you have been reading this book since 5 o'clock yeah so the correct answer is you have been uh, just a minute so here the sentence could have been you have been reading this book since 5 o'clock so when the exact time is there 5 o'clock is the exact time so when the point of time is given we use since okay but when period when period of time or duration of time is given we use for if it, it had been 5 hours 5 days 5 minutes okay 5 years or 5 centuries then we could have used for okay and secondly uh, when the work is shown to be going on okay from some exact time or period of time we always use either present perfect continuous or past perfect continuous is that clear so if i had given over here the right answer since then you could have become confused whether to use this or that okay because both of them could have been correct okay have been or they had been you know they have could both have been correct over here contextually but yes if i had said like you have been re you dash reading this book dash 5 o'clock uh, uh, last year okay suppose i had given the uh, uh, given you one segment like last year then you would have preferably chosen past perfect continuous okay now next sentence we are doing mixed grammar okay not just narration one of my best friends dash going to kashmir so the options are very easy options a r b b c is and d was okay let it be has so what's the correct answer one of my best friends dash going to kashmir are going to kashmir were going to kashmir is going to kashmir or has going to kashmir yes who will give answer okay yes tarundeep is now there yes tarundeep ma'am is is the correct answer one of my best friends is going to kashmir yes that is correct but you now you have to explain like why is one of my best friends is going to kashmir yes but why is 
Um, because in the sentence one one is mentioned, so we can't use the word are, and it's not in uh, past tense, so we we can't use were as well. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me clarify. We could have the option of either past or present. That because that is contextually that even that could have been correct. Okay. Either past could have been correct or present could have been correct. Uh, correct because uh, in this sentence there is no reference to the to the fact like whether it is present or past one of my best friend was going to kashmir even that could have been correct but was i have not given okay was is not there so we needed a singular verb either in present or in past so that's why one option only is given only like either is or was so if i had given you two options was separately then you could have become confused but yes if you could have asked like suppose i had given you the options like this was then my question could have been further like uh, uh, are the option numbers a b c so tick the correct option now a and b b and c c and d a and d now what's the correct answer yes now tell which is the correct answer you have to choose one option out of these four arshin wait let me ask somebody else parth has come now properly yes parth unmute yourself parth unmute yourself yes parth earlier his network was not okay and now he is not okay okay now let's see pravnoor yes pravnoor yes ma'am yes good that you are there yes give the correct answer m c and d no what where is c and d option m c okay so this side or that side that side Okay, that's right. So this C is correct. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes, that is right. E even is is correct, and even was is correct. Because in this sentence, uh, there is no reference to the time period. It's not mentioned like whether it is about present or past or future. I could have given even you one more option about future. what is that option can anyone tell me raise hand anyone who knows like what could be one more option with me to confuse you people and that would have been correct also so there could have been one more option with me to confuse you but that could have been the correct option yes bhavnesh will be going yes you are correct will be is one more option right and uh, now the option which i could have added is c d and e so three answers are correct my one of my best friend is going to or one of my best friends was going to or one of my best friends will be going to kashmir three of them are correct well done bhavnesh okay so now next question is and yes let me explain it for all of you when it comes like one of okay after one of the subject is always plural but we are talking about one person one is going to kashmir one friend is going to kashmir it's not that your all friends are going to kashmir it means that your one friend out of many best friends is going to kashmir so remember whenever you get uh, the sentence like one of then always use singular verb okay okay now next sentence and this rule is applicable to all the words like eat every either or even neither right so write on one more sentence like this
there are trees on dash side of the road so what will come the options are the op uh, the options are each every both or either so what's the correct option a b c or d yes keshav will give the answer okay parth will give the answer ma'am each no better no each refers to when you are talking about so many people and one and each one of them when the countable people are there and you talk about one each each and everybody so let me tell you the difference between each and every each refers to the countable eaches and e every refers to uncountable everys i guess the definition is very clear it's my uh, self concocted definition each refers to countable each is okay so when the number of the people is countable and there you want to talk about then you say each person in the class each student in the class was given a chocolate but when it is every then it is uncountable when it is unlimited every citizen should be dutiful towards his or her duty every every citizen every person everybody so when we say everybody so that then the people are then the persons are uh, you can say unlimited it's not that you cannot count the people but the list of the people whom you are considering in your sentence that is unlimited but when you say each then you have a specific number in your mind but in every that specific number is not there that is infinite okay both refers to two people or two things and here either is on both sides of the road so here the answer would be either so there are trees on either side of the road okay that's it thank you very much all the best for your exams right on monday you have your ssc exam and uh, so prepare well and the key to do best in exams is that you read all chapters thoroughly and go through the text questions also okay don't be just prepare on the basis of mcqs only when you'll be preparing long questions there and then you are somewhere or the other mcqs will be prepared side by side but yes separately also do mcqs thank you all the best